Well, good afternoon, Dar Darlene. She pled guilty in a Russian courtroom within the last hour, and now she faces up to 10 years in prison, and she's already been behind bars for months. Griner was detained back in February at Moscow's airport after Russian authorities said that they found vape canisters with cannabis oil in her luggage. Her attorney says that the basketball star admitted in court that the vape canisters were hers, but she said she brought them to Russia unintentionally. Of course, today's hearing comes as Griner's family increased their calls to the U.S. government to do more to help free her. Brittany Garner herself sent a handwritten letter to President Biden and more than a thousand black women leaders also sent letters. The president and vice president actually spoke to her wife yesterday promising all possible assistance to bring Brittany home, but Sherelle is not convinced yet. I'm frustrated that my wife is not going to get justice. I would like again to emphasize the commitment of the United States government at the very highest levels to bring home safely Ms. Greiner and all U.S. citizens wrongfully detained. They're not going to ever be quiet until she's home safely. A rally took place in Phoenix last night where Griner plays during the WNBA season with fans holding signs begging people to help bring Brittany home. Her attorney says that she hopes that this guilty plea will help bring leniency from the court. Her next court hearing takes place next Thursday in the newsroom. Erica Byfield, News 4, New York.